Hello everyone. I just uh, getting started on my upper cow panel. Um, this video is going to show you what to expect when you buy a new reproduced 6872 upper cow panel. Um, I'm actually I have everything prepped here. I have uh, the inside of the cow pour 15, so that's sealed, so I'm not going to have any leakage from underneath. Just wanted to show you that. Grind away the areas that I need when I start welding my cow panel on. But I wanted to show you, this is the, uh, the original. I always save every panel I take off, I save so I don't run into a situation not knowing where something's going to go. So I'm going to show you, this is the original cow panel right here, okay? And I'll just show you real quick the whole panel, okay? So if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment, and please like, share, and definitely subscribe to support my channel. And I'll give you a breakdown on, uh, that's the new one I'm showing you, and I'm going to give you a breakdown on... Uh, what the difference is when and what to expect when you do it yourself um, so for starters I want to show you this right here right in the center you have this big square hole um, I don't know what that is there for so I'm gonna have to patch that and fill it so it's not there because if you look directly down from the other panel, it is not there. It's it's showing it right here, this uh, square. So let me see if I could bring them together so you, in the same frame. Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, see so here's here's the square. See the square hole right here, and there's the square hole in my original panel, and then over here is the square, and it doesn't exist here so let me back up right there so let me see if I could okay right there there you go there's the little square hole and here's the square hole of that and it's not there so I have to fill that in this is the new one I have to fill that in and prep it um, the other problem I have here is is this over here but let me let me just show you the the it's really nicely made it's, it has all the indentation in place this is where the the uh, the windshield clip goes and it's right here I mean it's everything's in in place uh, everything looks good they have all the the little indentation here let me show you this piece right here is a little indentation and if you look the indentation is right there so it's it matches very very nicely so if you want to do an original reproduction it's it's really close okay so you have that little knob there in the windshield arm and you have the little knob there so everything looks pretty good there but the only problem is now let me turn this uh, and lay the original panel on I mean the new panel on the original panel and I'm going to show you something hold on Okay, I put the original panel underneath the new panel and If you look right there, you see a problem and the problem is this hole and this hole does not match this hole and that hole okay so the right there I'm going to show you both of them okay now you have right here the distance is an inch and a half okay you see that between the two so in the new panel the reproduction panel you have between the two almost two and an eighth so there's a problem, okay? And this is a very important problem because if you go ahead and install this cow panel before you check this, you're going to run into the problem where this here is where your fender bolt 
lines up so you could adjust your fender in and out. So if this is in the wrong position, you're going to have to drill a hole and reach underneath here and try to figure out something to hold it and make sure it doesn't move. There's a reinforcement plate under here, which this is the reinforcement plate right here. So this plate comes all the way up in that area. So now what you have to do is you're going to have to drill right over here and install the bolt. So there's a bolt right there. See the bolt? You're going to have to place that in another area to match your original. So just be careful. You have an inch and a half on the original and two and an eighth on the reproduction. So right there is a major problem. Okay? Just so you know. And if you look on the other side, you have the same situation. Okay? So the same situation, you could clearly see in the picture, this one is about an inch and a half away and this one's two and a half inches away. And a lot of people were asking me when I'm going to do this video and I thought, let me uh, get some time in and, and really break it down. I know I'm talking a lot and I apologize, but I just wanted to show you exactly what needs to be done so you don't run into any problems. So other than that, it's really, really good. Um, those are little minor things, but I, again, I just don't want anyone going ahead and installing um, the, the panels and having a problem. Uh, so just wanted to show you that, okay? So I'm going to get started, and I am going to show you exactly what I'm doing to install this cow panel. Be right back. Okay, I drilled all my spot welds all along the front here. Let me show you. I did all that right along here. I'm um, just making sure it fits properly. So I don't want to go too far, making sure all my spot welds line up properly. Uh, before I go ahead, I'm going to drill one more hole or uh, punch one more hole right there in the corner. Um, but other than that, everything looks good. I did it about about two inches apart from each other. I'm actually going to cut this part of the uh, old panel out and just use this as my template and put it here. Like I told you, this the space between here and here are uh, off. So I need to make sure that I line that up properly before I go ahead and drill it and weld my nut on the back side. So just wanted to show you where I am and uh, gonna go from there. So the same problem on that side. But other than that, the fitment is pretty good. It's nice and tight. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. So um, if you get a chance, can you please subscribe? I'd appreciate it. Okay, I just got done cutting a piece of 16 gauge metal to fit in that square that was in here uh, that's not supposed to be there. So I'm gonna weld that up. I'm not gonna do that now. So I'm, I'm gonna cut, just cut that in. Um, fits very nicely. I have it clamped so it doesn't move. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, weld it, weld it in place. But for now, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So that's that's ready to rock and roll. This is the back of this piece, so I'm going to cut this out and then right across and use this piece as my template. So once I'm done with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, I'll be right back. Hold on one second. Okay, this is the, uh, the factory hole where that plug is on the original cow panel. And uh, this is where the bolt hole is over here. So what I, what I have to do now is uh, remove this bolt, I'm sorry, this nut 
and put it in the right position so I can weld it. So I'm just going to use this as my template, just like that. Mark it, drill it, and that'll be exactly where it needs to be so I don't have a problem once I finish welding my cow panel into place. If you have any questions, comment, let me know. Leave it in the description, please. Thanks. I'll be I cut this from my old cow panel, and I'm going to use this as a template. I laid it out over here and I made sure everything lines up and I'm going to make a mark right here. You can see that and I'm going to do that on the other side. I made a mark with a marker just so you could see what I'm doing here and what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave that other bolt in that place because the new quarter panels might have that compensated so I don't want to fill that in with weld and have to re-drill it and tap it if I don't have to so at this point in time I'm going to leave it go and if I could put a plug I'll put a plug in so I'm just going to leave that go for now um, and then figure it out when I get the new quarter panels but for now I just want to bring you down here and show you exactly what I did right right there is where I made a mark from my cow panel that I cut out so there's there's the original hole for my cow panel and when you lay it down there you could clearly see um, that's where it's supposed to be right down in there and I and I made a mark with a marker so when I drill it everything uh, lines up properly okay so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and I'm gonna get back to you I'm gonna drill the hole um, with half inch because that's what this this size is right here half inch and then they put a nut on the other side and tack welded just like this okay this is factory so that's the nut they used so that's exactly what i'm going to do now so if you have any questions let me know leave them below so uh, let me drill that out and i'll get back to you okay cutting oil there. I got to drill through that plate. That's why it's not going down so easily. So there's, a, there's a reinforcement plate here that holds the fender in place. So Okay. I'm all the way through my half inch hole all right so I'm gonna drill the same thing on the other side here Let me just turn it around all right I'm through that one so I got both of them drilled so now the uh, the only thing I have to do is put the uh, nut On the back side so I'm gonna I could drill I could spot weld the, the nut on the other side um, that being said I'm gonna get everything situated so all I have to do is do all my welding at one particular time patch weld this panel right here so I'm just gonna make sure everything uh, is ready to go let me turn the camera off and I'll be right back all right, what I ended up doing was I used my welding vice grip right here to hold the nut. This is the nut that I used, okay, about a pack of four. Um, they are 3 8 with 16th inch thread. So that's the, uh, the nut is right down in there, you see that? So when I weld it, I'm going to flip it over, um, and I did the same thing on this side. Okay, flip this over, um, and there's the nut right there that it's holding. So I'm just going to tack that in place. Same thing with the other side. I'm going to leave this go. Like I said, um, the new fenders might have compensated for this bolt being there. So I don't want to go ahead and remove it and then have a problem where I can't 
um, fasten my fender. So for now, I'm gonna leave it go. I Okay, just a little tack. Now I'm gonna tack this side over here. Um, move my ground wire. Then I'm gonna put another tack over here, so. Just got done welding the bolt into place. There's the bolt welded. I just gotta clean it up just a little bit, okay? Um, this is that little patch panel I made. Welded that in place. And this is the other bolt. So everything's done, it's in. I just gotta clean it up. So when I'm done cleaning it up, I'll turn the camera back on and show you exactly what it looks like. Be right back. I'm all done fitting the cow panel on and what I wanted to uh, show you the the patch that I did um, I'll show you that in a second I have the holes drilled for the fender right here so be careful when you install yours um, you check that before you do it everything else is uh, ready to be installed and tack weld so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp this all down there's my patch that I did right there. Came out really nice. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap it a little bit with just to clean out the pore 15 that I have in my uh, spot well holes. And I'm gonna just spot weld it. So I just wanted to show you that. And everything here is fitting nicely. So right here is the driver side hole that I did. Uh, for the fender, I, I, like I said, I'm keeping these just because I don't want to run into a problem where the new fenders that I get are compensated for that difference. So all I'm going to do, if if it, if not, I'm just going to plug it. So not a big deal. Um, just want to show you everything here. So there's my patch again that I did. Fold that all in. And it looks kind of scratchy because I didn't primer it yet. But uh, it came out really, really nice. There you go. Um, I'm going to keep that because that's factory. It's a factory hole there off my old dash, off my old uh, cow panel. So everything's ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to clamp everything up and I'm going to start welding it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please subscribe. See you in a little bit. All right, I have everything in place. I have it all clamped down as you can see and what I want to do now is go in here and chase um, my spot welds where I'm going to spot weld because I have that 415 so I want to go through that so it doesn't give me a problem um, welding so I'm, all I do is just go in there and, and clean that out. Um, that being said, I blunted the tip a little bit, so I get in there and clean that pore 15 out of there. So it gives me a nice clear adhesion, uh, no, sorry, nice clear weld uh, without any problem. So once I'm done doing all this, I am going to turn the camera back on and I will show you uh, up close of what everything looks like. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. But if you have any questions, let me know. bring you down and show you them. I'm not going to bore you with all this welding, but this is going to probably conclude my video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to go in here and I am just going to tack weld, uh, spot weld all my plug cuts that I cut out of here. And um, then I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and sand it. Be done. 
Um, and then my next video, I am going to put in the window dash panel, which is uh, this right here. It's for a 68 Chevelle. You can purchase it. It's for the, the channel that goes between the cow panel and the dash panel. It's that little channel. You're going to have to modify it a lot. I'll make a video of it, um, and, and that's going to probably be my next video on this series. Uh, so I just want to spot weld this up. Okay, here are my spot welds, like I said, and I'm just going to continue spot welding all the way down um, this panel. So, like I said, this is going to conclude my video. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please like, share, and definitely subscribe to support my channel. Thank you so much, and I hope this video helps you in your build.